best Halloween movie of all time is Hocus Pocus. Happy Halloween! Can you guess what I am? Steve Jobs. No, I'm not Steve Jobs. Hold on. Can you guess what I am now? I'm a cat. Meow. Yes. I dressed up like a cat because I know how much the internet loves cat videos. No. Natalie. No. 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 Natalie. No. That actually had something in it. No, it didn't. But why didn't you tell well, me this, that? Well, this one didn't. Yeah, hey, I thought one. you gave it back to me because I was going to say Steve Jobs with Miscus. All right, we are back again with another spooky box. What is in it today? It's pretty light. I will not be knocking this box off the table, even though I am a cat. So let's jump on in right now. Ooh, cat's eye. Oh. Boo. Oh, these are so cool. I really can't wait for y'all to see this right now. So we have two stones. They're both green, kind of a limey lime color. Say hello to cat's eye. This is so cool. You have cat to be kitting me right now. Really light, very pretty. Nice and smooth. So we've talked before about a cabochon. This is the perfect A plus example of a cabochon. So what is a cabochon? I'm gonna show you right now. You can see right here, this has a domed polished top and a flat bottom. It's good to cut that dome kind of high so you see a sharper line. Can you see that? And what I'm really focused on right now is that you can see a, a cat's eye. Today we're talking about cat's eye. You can actually see the cat's eye across the stone. Cat's eye is actually a term called chatoyancy. Chatoyancy is when you see, there's almost like, it looks like a ray of light kind of um, gliding across the stone. That's another phenomenon. We've talked about phenomenons in the past. Uh, the play of color in opal is a phenomenon. It's the way that the light plays with the inclusions or the growth tubes in the stone to give you this it does look like, it looks like an eye. It looks like a cat's eye. The chatoyancy is caused by fine needle-like or fibrous inclusions. That could be a variety of things. It could be a crack in the stone, some kind of tube. Inclusions are basically internal col... Internal? <laughs> and where the hell did that come from? <laughs> internal character... Inclusions are basically internal characteristics of the, sh of the stone. Inclusions are basically internal characteristics of a stone. <laughs> Ooh, box number two. Hey! Got cat's eye sylvanite, star sunstone, cat's eye tourmaline, a classic. Cat's eye scapolite, star ruby. Oh, that's beautiful. Star over here. So I'm super excited about all of these, but let's, um, for simplicity and time's sake, I'm just gonna talk about Cat's Eye Tourmaline and Star Ruby, and we'll cover the rest of them in a future episode. This Cat's Eye Tourmaline is a perfect example of chatoyancy. In tourmaline, it's caused by growth tubes, so you can see that 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 eye is just gliding right across the stone. There's also another phenomenon that kind of is similar and that's called asterism. Mm. So asterism, star ruby, is when you have a similar structure or inclusion, but instead of seeing just like one of those rays, you actually can see five, six, it depends on what you're looking at. And this, you can kind of see that there's like a star just dancing across. What do you think about that right now? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I'm not, I can't do that much longer. <laughs> so you can actually see the chatoyancy when the stone is natural, but you polish it and you can actually cut the dome on a cabochon higher to show a sharper line of the cat's eye. And that's actually really, really hard to do. It's extremely difficult to orient the stone perfectly so that you see the cat's eye and that is a uniform band across the top of the stone rather than, you know, kind of spotty or not all the way there. Stones like Tourmaline, emerald, aqua, silimonite, quartz, uh, apatite, what, that was six I named off the top of my head. All of those can have a, a cat's eye effect. I don't mean to be catty or anything, but tourmaline is by far my favorite cat's eye. So what's interesting about cat's eye is you're not gonna see this, like let's say you have a piece of quartz. Not every piece of quartz is gonna have the cat's eye. It's gonna be you know, the perfect alignment of these inclusions or these needles that give you that effect. So cat's eye crystal barrel was actually used in ancient Ceylon, which is modern day Sri Lanka, to protect against evil spirits. It is Halloween, so maybe I need this right now. 
Take a closer look into my eyes right now and look at this chatoyancy. All right, guys, time for me to go. I'm gonna go try to get some trick-or-treating in so I can get my meow mix for tonight. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Do that right meow. Meow. I need a cat nap meow. <laughs> we have literally <laughs> beat that thing to the ground. Oh, yeah. Enjoy your spooky Halloween. <laughs>